हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज श्रुति अहुजिया एम बी बी ए स्टूडेंट एट जी एम सी एट चंडीगढ़ सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जनरल एन आर्ट मी रिविजन पार्ट टू हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बेसिकली द मस्क्यूलर सिस्टम एंड आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट वी नीड टू स्टडी दिस द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ इट फ्रॉम जनरल फिजियोलॉजी और द न्यूरो नर्व मसल फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज एन एम पी ओनली फ्रॉम फिजियो राइट दैट विल गिव यू बेटर आइडिया ऑफ दिस चैप्टर बट वॉट डू वी स्टडी इन इनाटमी लाइक एक्सक्लूसिवली इन इनाटमी वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मसल्स वॉट इट इज इट इज़ अ कॉन्ट्रैक्टाइल टिश्यू एंड फ्रॉम वॉट इट इज़ डिराइव्ड सो टू लर्न मस्क मसल इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम मीजोडर्म एम सो इट इज राइमिंग सो दे आर एक्टो मीजो एंड एंडोडर्म राइट सो मसल फ्रॉम मीजोडर्म लेयर ऑफ एम्ब्रियनिक जर्म सेल now uh, we can see muscles are uh, thought to be red right so forms the red flesh of the body and 40% of the body weight so next muscles uh, so are called the motors of the body so again m m now uh, muscles cells differentiate these are the differentiated cells it is these are not stem cells these can't form any type of cell and these have contractile proteins in it and they generate the force of cellular contraction so that is why they are called motors of the body so if someone asks so we can answer right next comes uh, the origin of muscles and exceptions um, mesoderm then uh, mesenchyme and undifferentiated connective tissue and all the muscles are derived from mesoderm right but what are the exceptions wherever there are exceptions we need to be alert uh, because they are the pyqs or mcq right they can come separately as a note as well next uh, exception are erector pilorum here erector you can see the hair mus uh, hairs um, some when you feel cold uh, your hairs are erected right that erect why how they can be erected like some motor should be there some moving force that is the muscle so erector pilorum muscle um, we can see the iris muscle of the eyes and myoepithelial cells of the glands so to in for the sucking uh, the action for the uh, secreting action there should be some force right for for that also these are uh, three next types of muscles um, the basis of classification can be morphological and functional now contractile cells uh, they are single units myoepithelial cells and uh, myofibroblasts these are the two types of we can see the cells next is uh, what are the myoepithelial cells the shape is spindle type uh, epithelial as it is written and protein is actin and myosin we know na actin filaments is major, mainly here function is expulsion of uh, like secretion of acini as i told you for the glandular uh, right function next is uh, i have written the glands here next comes uh, the function of myofibroblast uh, here we saw the epithelial and here we are seeing the fibroblast so fibroblast now we can see um, it would be for wound healing when when your wound heals uh, there is uh, something uh, like a like um uh, clot formation and there is something brownish touch right and for that uh, we need some uh, thing that should contract it and close it as well so for that myofibroblasts are present next comes the differentiation between the three types of muscle i hope this is um, already covered in our neat uh, level only and i just want that you must revise it and um, if you have any doubts you can uh, put it in the comment box i have doubt in this or that point because this is more or less the same so in basic properties of muscle we know uh, there is stimulus it will irritate then it would contract and then um, it also has extensibility so th these are the properties you can see irritate then uh, the contractibility extensibility and then elasticity you need to learn these four properties you can learn this by this flow chart right now most abundant muscle uh, the like uh, skeletal muscles are most abundant right Uh, next comes why skeletal muscle are clinically important because these are commonly paralyzed and when they are paralyzed we know they are paralyzed because uh, when you can't move your leg or hand you know right it leads are often injured intramuscular injections are given now you need to know these sites of intramuscular injections this is an important point shoulder deltoid muscle is here 
gluteal region uh, is the hip region and gluteus medius is the site and in thigh region vastus lateralis we will learn about all these muscles separately um, in the uh, for the upcoming uh, chapters now what are the functions of skeletal muscles motion heat and posture and body support right next ts of a skeletal muscle this is also somewhat important uh, now this epimysium fascicle the peri perimysium is there and fibers of endomysium this is also done in the knee now junction of muscle belly with tendon we say it is a myotendinous junction and if someone asks you you have to you can draw this diagram and it will be helpful next comes a uh, muscle fiber skeletal muscle now these are the fibers uh, there is not much to learn about it uh, you just need to know about this diagram right contractile unit of myofibril and um, this is also done in physiology so that is not much important and we know this in neat as well uh, myofibrillar proteins act in myosin uh, difference actin has um, it is 40% and it is myosin 60% it is most abundant and thin filament and thick filament we know more than this when we come from a neat background right um, so this is just a revision and uh, just some points which you which are exclusively here in first year uh, general anatomy you just need to focus on that now mechanism of contraction this is well done in physio you need to learn it from physio only this is just a repetition here right calcium comes from sarcoplasmic reticulum uh, like an atp also aids right and there is slide sliding mechanism sliding filament theory this we will learn in physio next comes rigor mortis it is also from physio but it can come as an explain why or anatomical basis now death to after 2 to 4 hours it starts and after 6 to 12 hours it completes and after 2 to 4 days it disappears what is rigor mortis so muscles there is involuntary involuntary uh, like stiffness stiffness is there in muscles and it helps in medical legal cases to determine the time of death now if the question comes you can draw this flow chart and then uh, make this mechanism like atp is less calcium will um, not be able to enter the sarcoplasmic reticulum back and there will be continued sustained contraction now cell death will be there like spr will uh, break down and calcium will leak uh, leak in sp sarcoplasmic sarcoplasm basically and uh, cross bridges formation will be there but why does it disappear this is a question why the question answer is like the tissue degenerates the proteins degenerate after 2 to 4 days and the muscle relaxes now the types of skeletal muscle there are two types it is also covered in physiology but we need to learn it here as well and it can come as a differentiate question type 1 and red and type 2 white so these are slow twitch fibers long distance running and aerobic um, exercises and improve their ability so we will learn this by an, an uh, analogy that uh, red fibers are basically slow and white fibers are fast so um, this is the speed of contraction uh, contraction right so red fibers are slow like slow contraction is there so we can see ki, uh, that it is not used for sprinters right fast is used for sprinters and uh white is basically uh, like it is used for sprinters so it will be fast and if we run so fast we get fatigue so it is fatigue susceptible and next blood supply it has very poor blood supply and myoglobin content is low obviously because it is used for very short duration so i don't need any energy reserve and uh, if i am getting fatigue so there will be anaerobic glycolysis not aerobic next comes number of mitochondria obviously it will be few here and glycogen content will be low no reserve required diameter would be large um, and the examples like extraocular muscles of eye i can blink it very fast and postural muscles is in red why because postural muscles i am sitting for so long and i am not getting fatigue right so that is why red another thing is that in white fibers i will have why are they white we need to go by the concept it is due to the more sarcoplasmic reticulum more calcium so more calcium more contractions that is why fast we can learn and now red fiber more myoglobin because it is due to uh, more uh, you can learn by the hemoglobin term right myoglobin is more so it will be uh, more energy reserve so it will be used for long term things like long distance runners then that will be a slow point next comes 
our fascicular architecture i think we need to sh we should cover this in the next part of the video so if you like this um, explanation of the concepts and if you like this video then do save it in the library for further and future revisions and do share it with your friends if you want because sharing is caring